Salute to everybody if you're just now coming in. Y'all the like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about Tasha K. Many of you guys know what's been going on between her and Cardi B. Now, yesterday I reported that TMZ said that Tasha K have to pay Cardi $1.2 million, uh, somewhere around that range. Now, today, after everything was said and done, it's been reported that she have to pay $3.8 million. That's a long number. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, I don't know the particulars of the case. You know, I don't know everything that's transpired just from the outside looking in. You know, gauging different conversations that I see people having and, you know, reading different reports. I haven't sat down and read the, all the particulars of what's going on. But one thing I do know is $3.8 I don't care how much money you got. That's going to take some food out your mouth a little bit. You know, that is a long number. Now, my question to you guys, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to read in the comment section. You know, I know a lot of you guys, you know, uh, you, you either side with Cardi or, you know, you side with Tasha K or whatever it is. Me, I'm on this platform. I just want to have a conversation below, and I'm going to read a lot of you guys' comments, and I'm going to actually comment, comment back to some of you guys, and you know, because maybe you guys can fill me in as to, you know, more knowledge that you may have about the situation. As it's pertaining to me, you know, I'm just going to say, you know, $3.8 million. That's, whew, that's a long number. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do you guys think that Tasha K, did they try to make an example out of her? Um... Or do you think that Cardi B got everything she deserved? Now, me personally, you know, I got to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I feel as though by her being a big name and a platform that she have, and as many people as she have talked about or she have covered, you know, sometimes you can ruffle some feathers. Sometimes the stories can be, you know, mess up people's homes, mess up people's, you know, day-to-day uh, -day living, whatever the case may be. So you don't know who you affected, who you offended. You don't know who know who, you know, because the game of life ain't who you know. It ain't what you know is who you know. You know what I'm saying? So I I don't know what the situation was. The only thing I know is 3.8 million sounds like, you know, we're going to make an example out of this person to make sure the rest of you guys know we ain't going for this no more. And at the end of the day, it's the risk you run when you when you playing in the field that she playing in reporting. It's kind of like the Wendy Williams field. You know what I'm saying? Where they report on people's personal life, so on and so forth. You know, you got to have your, you know, cross your T's and dot your I's. And I feel as though today they made an example or they tried to make a statement that they're not going to go for certain things. And also, I want to ask you guys, in the comment section below, do you think that this changes the way YouTube is being ran? Now, well, a lot of these guys take to these social media platforms and they bash each other and they throw out whatever, you know what I'm saying, on people's name. A lot of the ladies do the same, especially, you know, uh, people that's covering whatever, covering the industry or covering other YouTubers or whatever. People throw things out there. Um, do you think that this will change the way these guys on YouTube is handling their business and conducting themselves. Um, and me, in my opinion, like I say, man, I said and I stand on. I think today, you know, three point eight million dollars. You know, that's a long number. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, you hit the head and the body go. You know, if she have a million subscribers uh, in that realm of living or in that playing field, and they got an opportunity to nail her to the cross. Today seems as though they wanted to do that. But at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. Um, salute to Cardi, salute to what they got going on, salute to Tasha K. I'm just a guy that's just seeing what's going on like you guys are and giving my two cents. But I do want to read y'all comments below and y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that they made an example out of Tasha K? Do y'all think she got everything she deserved? And not only that, do you think that this changes, today changes how YouTube will be ran moving forward? As many guys may be scared that they'll get a lawsuit. I mean, they'll get a defamation of character, suit, or whatever the case may be. Now, them guys might not win $3.8 million because dudes don't got the Tasha K type of money. You know what I'm saying? But they still may win something. Uh, and, 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 you know, moving forward, do you think that this changed the way YouTube is being ran? Each one teach one love and respect. 100.